Today, we're going to learn about sea turtles. Hmm? Where? Um, what do you mean? I don't see any turtles. No. It's because they live in the sea, Gus. <laughs> sea, Gus? Sea turtles. You know the ocean? Oh, sea turtles. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's learn about sea turtles. I, I think it's a really good idea. But before we do, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. Let's learn about those cool looking sea turtles. Did you know that sea turtles are one of the oldest creatures on planet Earth? Sea turtles have been around since the time of the dinosaurs and have not changed much at all in over 110 million years. And you can find sea turtles in many different sizes and colors. Sea turtles are cold-blooded, have a three-chambered heart, as well as scaly skin. And this is why sea turtles are considered reptiles. Sea turtles can be found throughout the world in every ocean except for the Arctic Ocean. That's right, Quinn. And this is because most sea turtles like warmer, tropical waters. Hey, guess what? Did you know that each species of sea turtle has a specific geographic area where they nest, where they breed, and where they live? Adult sea turtles spend most of their lives in shallow waters, only going on beaches to lay eggs. Usually, sea turtles choose to hang out around shallow coastal areas like lagoons and bays, but they are sometimes found in deep ocean waters too. Hey, guess what? There are seven species of sea turtles. The loggerhead, the leatherback, the olive ridley, the hawksbill, the flatback, the green, and Kemp's ridley. Some people consider the black sea turtle an eighth species of sea turtle. The largest species of sea turtle is the leatherback, which can grow to six feet long and weigh more than half a ton, or 1,000 pounds. The smallest sea turtle species are the Olive Ridley and the Kemp's Ridley. And these sea turtles grow to around two feet long and about 100 pounds. The largest sea turtle ever recorded weighed over two thousand pounds. Sea turtles have a tough shell that serves as armor and protects them from predators. The sea turtle's major difference from other turtles is its shell. I also think that their headwear too, like the things they wear around their eyes, or that's those were teenage those were like mutant turtles, all right? Something like that. Oh yeah. Oh you're so smart. You're so past your age. And sea turtles have large shells that are made of bone and cartilage, called the carapace. Their shell color varies from species to species. And shells of all sea turtles, except the leatherback, have a layer of thin plates called scoots that cover it. These scoots are flexible but strong. Sounds like the elastic in your underwear. Hmm, good analogy, Gus. Sea turtle species are usually identified by the number and pattern of scoots. The underside of a sea turtle is known as the plastron. Hey, guess what? Did you know that sea turtles do not hide and retract into their shells like other turtles do? Sea turtles have flippers that let them swim well in the water. And these flippers also help them walk on land, but not very well, which allows sea turtles to become easy prey for predators on land. Sea turtles eat many different kinds of food, including seagrass, seaweed, crabs, jellyfish, and shrimp. Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? We did a video about jellyfish. We'll link it in the description below. Oh.
Oh. Oh, you want some peanut butter? No. No. What's so sad? That means sea turtles eat the jellyfish. Well, our video will protect them, maybe. <laughs> Some species of sea turtles are carnivores, which means they eat other animals, like crabs, for example. The hawksbill sea turtle has a sharp beak like a bird. And this beak allows the hawksbill sea turtle to eat mostly sea sponges because it can reach inside coral reefs. Green sea turtles have a more plant-based diet and eat seagrass. Are they known as the vegans of the sea turtle community? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's... You, you're smart. <laughs> For real. If they were vegans, though, they'd tell you all about it. <laughs> By keeping seagrass short, they prevent it from getting tall and harming other marine creatures. Hey, guess what? Did you know that female sea turtles can lay one group of eggs every ten days? and sea turtles can do this up to seven times during their nesting season. Each female sea turtle lays between 50 to 200 eggs in one nest. And hey, guess what? This is a really cool fact. Did you know that female sea turtles lay their eggs in a hole on the same beach where they were born? To create a nest for eggs, female sea turtles dig a hole in the sand using their flippers and body. And after laying the eggs, the mother sea turtle leaves and goes back into the ocean and will feed for up to one year to get their energy back. These eggs are left alone and defenseless, and this is why they can become excellent food for many different types of predators. And once the eggs hatch, the baby sea turtles dig their way out of the nest and head for the water. Although the females go back to the same beach that they were born, feeding, breeding, and nesting are not done in the same locations. In fact, sea turtles travel hundreds or even thousands of miles between each location. Scientists believe that sea turtles outlive humans and can live more than 150 years. And most sea turtles live their entire life alone, only meeting up with another sea turtle when it's time to mate. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about sea turtles. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.